Chris Miller, Ball State University, number two punter in the country. You were number one, and then this past weekend you dropped to number two. What happened? You know, you go to in, play these late November games in Indiana. Now I'm not making any excuses, but I had, you know, I didn't have my best game. But hopefully, you got to improve every week, so it gives me, you know, more motivation to get better next week. Maybe so. you should have gone to like Minnesota. You could play in a dome. In a dome. I would. I have never played in a dome. That's one thing I want to do. Is that like what kickers and punters talk about? Like, um, man, domes, that'd be awesome. Yeah, there's no factors. I mean, right now the wind's blowing in our face. It's a huge factor. What's the biggest misconception about punters? Uh, that we're like kickers and we're not. What's the difference? Please explain. Punters are usually, they have a good football background. You know, I was a tight end. They're usually, you know, stronger, bigger, taller guys. Kickers are predominant. I mean, they're they're kickers from soccer. They came straight from soccer, so... And they're, they're usually a little more weirder than punters. I mean, I'm kind of weird, but not as weird as a kicker. And they're usually shorter, fatter, and, you know, kind of nerdier. Do you have an all-time favorite punter? Uh, probably Maynard. Brad Maynard. He, uh, he went to school here, and then he went to, dra got drafted to the Giants, and then uh, over to the Chicago Bears right now. And he was one of the best punters ever in college football and in history of college football, too. So he's my role model. I've never played organized football in my life. Do you think I could catch one of your punts? Yeah, I think you could. I mean, it just takes a little eye coordination and, you know. What if I told you that I have none? Ah, uh, it'd be tough then because catching a punt is definitely a tough thing to do. All right, well, I'm going to give it a shot. All so right, sounds good. Let's see what I got. All right. So is it weird that you have to do, like, a bunch of stretching for, like, okay. for, like you know, 20 seconds of game action? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, on the sidelines, you're, you're over there always getting warmed up getting your legs loose and then you never know when you're going to go in so but it must also be odd because as a punter if you don't if you don't get in it means the team's having a good game right exactly. so are you rooting not to play <laughs> yeah pretty much it's pretty windy i think it's gonna be pretty tough for me but uh we'll see how it goes this is gonna be about 45 50 yards shooting for let's do it <laughs> That one was easy. Full square one. Three for five. Not bad. <laughs> 